I'm from Camarillo, California, and my question is, what do you look for when, de when determining a pers if a person is honest or not? Well, that's a good question, Kevin. Uh, the, uh, you, I think, I think generally Charlie and I can do pretty well with the, the situations we see, but we have to, we have to have some evidence of behavior in front of us. And uh, uh, I would say even there's some occupations where we're going to expect to find a higher percentage of people who behave well than in others. Um, but if we work with someone over a period of a few months or more, I think we've got, we can come up with uh, a pretty high batting average uh, in, in terms of how they behave, but at, at Solomon, I I think I I was able to separate out uh, the people who I felt very good about and the people I was a little more nervous about uh, fairly quickly among the ones I worked with actively. But how you spot that precisely? Uh, you know, leave your lunch money on their <laughs> on their desk sometime. Yeah, maybe you'll find out in a hurry. But they. Uh, 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 we we like people, you know. You, I mean, the the, the great example, you know, is, is somebody like a, a Tom Murphy, where they they're just bending over backwards all the time to make sure that you get the better end of the deal, or that, that that doesn't mean they're competitive. I mean, if you play him a golf game for money or something like that, he, you know, he wants to win the worst way. But it, but he but there are people that just they don't take credit for things that uh, that they didn't do. In fact, they give you credit for some of the things that maybe they did, and you can you can you you can get a feel for it over time. And Charlie, you have any good guidelines on that? Yes, I, I think that people leave track records in life, and uh, so somebody at your age uh, should figure that by the time he's 22 or three, well, he will have left quite a track record, and the world will be able to figure you out. So, so I think that. I think track records are, are very important. And if you start early trying to have a perfect record and, and, and some simple thing like honesty, you're well on the way to success in this world. Johnny and Yelly one time told me, he said, he said, when you get older, you have the reputation you deserve. He said, you can get away with yeah, it for a while. Yeah. Uh, early on, but he, by the time anybody gets to be uh, 60 or so, they, they, they very probably have the, uh, the reputation you deserve. And the tr truth is, you can have the reputation that you want. If you, uh, if you list all of the things that you admire in other people, you'll find out that uh, almost everything you list, you may not be able to kick a football 60 yards or something of that sort, but every almost everything you list in the people that you admire and like, there are qualities that... that uh, that you can have if you just set out to do that. And didn't Ben Franklin do that, Charlie? No, oh, sure. I always say that the to get what you want is to deserve what you want. I'll have some more uh, peanut brittle. <laughs> <laughs> uh, area six.